Hello, my name is Adena Bazovic and I'm head of support by Elotech. Uh, I will today show you introduction into our App Blaster tool. The App Blaster tool is our configuration tool which allows us to configure uh, TWN4 readers in field uh, but also in pre-production. It is part of our TWN4 development pack which can be downloaded from our website. I will show you here. Uh, once you download the development pack, you will have a, a folder like this, uh, like you can see on my screen, uh, in which you can find a couple of folders and documents as well as the App Blaster tool itself. In order to start the App Blaster tool, uh, we will just uh, do a double click, just like on any normal uh, Windows application. Uh, there is no installation needed. It is just uh, a executable file. Uh, the App Blaster tool is available only for Windows. Uh, on the first screen here you can see uh, three options that App Blaster is offering. Programming firmware image, pre-compiled firmware images that already exist in the development pack or are provided by the uh, Elatech or uh, generated uh, by yourself. Uh, then there is a possibility to configure a project using interactive configuration and uh, to configure a project using a source code. Additionally to this, we have also uh, some uh, uh, menus on the top. Uh, we have a project menu, which allows us to load the previously created project. And then we have a tools menu, which allows us uh, uh, and provides the different tools for uh, uh, activating TWN4 device security, programming BLE modules, creating configuration cards, and uh, uh, preparing reader for different BLE credentials. Uh, we will start with the first uh, uh, option, program firmware image. So basically loading pre-compiled firmware images. If we click on it, we get a new window, uh, which uh, pr provides us some options. Uh, one of the options is also read version, which allows us to check the current version that is running on the reader uh, beside me. So if I click read version button here, I will get the version string from the reader, which is basically TWN4 reader. Then it uh, shows me here that I have a, a reader with bootloader 106 with core uh, model base uh, keyboard firmware image based on uh, firmware 464. And I have a tracer app uh, version 229 with PI option as well. So in order to program uh, a different firmware image onto a TWN4 reader, we will click on select image button. Then uh, Inside the development pack, we will find a couple of pre-compiled firmware images. We will just simply select one of them. Let's go with the uh, keyboard standard firmware. Select and open. Uh, next step is to program it into the reader, clicking on program image button. After a couple of seconds, the reader will be reprogrammed. So once we reprogram the firmware image onto the reader, we can repeat the read version uh, procedure and check what kind of uh, configuration is running on the reader at the moment. We can see here, uh, it is the same bootloader, same firmware version, but the configuration changed to our standard firmware. Different systems on the market and different RFID technologies require also different configurations of RFID readers. With App Blaster, with just a few clicks, you can reprogram TWN4 Reader in the field. And that's how simple it is. Thanks for watching and see you next time.